Hello guys, now today we are going to talk about friction. Friction is a force between two surfaces that are sliding or trying to slide across each other. For example, as you can see, the child is sliding through the slide in the playground and the friction makes this difficult so that the child won't slide off the ground. Now, here are some examples of how friction works. Imagine that you are skating on the ice rink and your friend is skating on the road. Whose movement do you think will be smoother? Yours or your friend's? Definitely yours because the friction works lesser when skating on ice rink and makes you slide easier rather than skating on the road. Friction always works in the direction opposite to the direction in which the object is moving or trying to move. Friction always slows down a moving object. Now here's another example. This child is smoothly sliding through a smooth surface. And this child is trying to slide in a rough surface, but he wouldn't move much. Always remember that the amount of friction depends on the materials from which the, with, on which the two surfaces are made. The rougher the surface, the more friction is produced. The smoother the surface, the less friction is produced. Now, let's learn about the types of friction. First is rolling friction. Rolling friction is defined as the force which resists the motion of a ball or a wheel on the weakest types of friction. For example, is a soccer ball. Next is fluid friction. Fluid friction is a friction that occurs when objects move across or through, the, through a fluid. An example is swimming. Swimmer's bodies, swimmer's body, and the surface of the water. Next is dry friction. Dry friction is the force that, that possesses the relative lateral motion of two solid surfaces, surfaces in contact. Dry friction is divided into two is subdivided into two types. First is kinetic movement between moving surfaces. See how this man is sliding the table while walking. And static friction is a force that keeps an object at rest. Friction also has many important uses. And here are some examples of friction that we use in our daily life. Like driving a car or driving a vehicle, walking on the road. When you walk, friction is caused between the tread on the shoes and the ground. The friction acts to grip the ground and prevent sliding. Drilling a nail into the wall and lighting as a much stick. Friction also produce, also produces heat. If you rub your hands together quickly, you will feel them get warmer. And did you know that friction also has disadvantages? And the main disadvantages of and the main disadvantage of friction is it produces heat in various parts of the machine. In this way, useful energy is expended as a loss in thermal energy. For example, a car engine becomes warmer due to friction. This could overheat and damage them. And that's all. Now, you, you have learned about frictions. Thank you for listening. See you next time.